How you guys doing? We got a first ever reaction to Janis Joplin, Ball and Chain at Monterey Pop. It's a festival, if I'm not mistaken. And this came in for from Felicia Echeverria. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So uh, you you actually ask if I ever reacted to Janis Joplin, The Doors, and Jimi Hendrix, and Hendrix. And the answer to all three is no. I do know of The Doors. But I couldn't tell you which song. And I do know of Jimi Hendrix. Um, very, very, you know, famous guitarist. I think it's very hard to not know about <clears throat> him, even though you live under a rock like I do. Janis Joplin, I have never heard of her before. And I see why, because we were looking through the options of videos to check and it says like 19, yeah, 1967. So that's why it's way before my time. So thank you very much for the generous 40. I do appreciate the donation. So I'm a subscribe. I'm a like. Uh, however, I have to let you guys know, I did a copyright check right here. And if you guys can see, this is these are the copyrights on this one video. And these are all visual claims. So that's going to get me... If I do this on a live stream without covering it up, I will get a copyright strike. Not a claim, a strike. I have to do this. Oh my God, soul. Down by my window, 
Just looking out at the rain Some came along, honey grabbed a hold of me And it felt like a ball and chain I have to do more research on Janis Joplin to see what she's about. I like that. And I like the outro too, the way they just tie that up. They say love like a ball and chain. Let me look this up. Janis Lynn Joplin was an American singer and songwriter, one of the most successful and widely known rock performers of her era. She was noted for her, for her powerful mezzo-soprano vocals and electric... That's, that is a, a, a description. That's a perfect description. Powerful mezzo-soprano vocals and electric stage presence. Wait, she... Oh, hold on. She died at the age of 27? What? Oh, for real? What the fuck? Yo, that's crazy. That's the, the 27 Club, right? Uh, Amy Winehouse as well. And there's others too. I don't know if Kirk Cobain is in that club, but there's some others as well. That 27 Club is scary, bro. Damn. This is one of those things, right? Where I just do, I'm just on a live stream doing reactions. Let me get this off the screen doing reactions and just uh checking stuff out you know this is what my saturdays are like and having a good time doing this with y'all and getting some content for the channel and i'm just blown away sometimes by whatever you guys put uh, in front of me this is fantastic i have never heard of janice joplin ever and it's probably because of the generational difference just this was the 60s man i don't think i know anything from the 60s because i'm from where i was born in the 90s so some people are going to be like, how are you? How do you not know of this person? I'm simple, bro. It was way before my time, right? Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix are part of the 27. Jimi Hendrix is also part of the 27 Club. See, I didn't know that. Jim Morrison, I don't even know who that is. See, this is another example. I don't know a lot of the stuff. Uh, you happy you made it past 27? Yeah, man. Me too. Happy you made it past. Hey, stop, stop. It's a voice that's between two vocal ranges, soprano and something else, but I don't know that specific one. It's definitely one of the most original ones that I've ever heard. I don't think I've ever heard. I'm very certain I haven't heard anything that sounds like her, the way she's performing on stage. And also to add to the mezzo-soprano, powerful mezzo-soprano vocals and electric stage presence, the passion, the blues, the passion, the sense that shit. Everybody, you saw that uh, zoom into the one lady in the audience. That's how I felt too. 
just in shock, just like, oh, is this really happening right now? So imagine witnessing this live. In an era like that without, and it's not like social media has been here for decades. No, it's only been very recent, but imagine an era where time was just simpler, where you didn't have all of this shit. So going to a, a performance like this, seeing that in person is so memorable because you don't have much to compare it to. They didn't have YouTube like we do where we can just watch, where I'm on a live stream on a Saturday for six, seven hours in a row watching shit like this, you know? So that's, that's the difference. Felicia has a taste, I agree. <laughs>